Sam, ever since the Federal Reserve set the stage to begin winding down its bond purchases, emerging markets have been selling off across the board, whether it's stocks, bonds, or currencies. And that's creating implications for the underlying economies. What's the risk that we could see a crisis bubble up in emerging markets that could wash on to U.S. shores? Well, I think the, uh, the concern primarily is directed toward those uh, emerging markets that have deficit economies uh, and therefore would be more likely to be impacted by more attractive, higher yielding debt instruments in the U.S. pulling capital out of these emerging markets because they would um, be needed to increase their own interest rates in order to maintain uh, the attractiveness to uh, their own currencies and their own investments. Uh, what we find interesting, though, is that if you look around the globe that the emerging markets, which have fallen more than 12% uh, through the end of August on a year-to-date basis, offer the more attractive earnings growth expectations as well as P.E. ratios, with growth being above 10% expected uh, by Bloomberg in 2014, uh, yet a P.E. ratio of only nine times, whereas all of the other markets developed international, international small caps and the S&P 500 are trading at 2014 P.E. ratios that are in the mid to low teens. 